This is the Garmin G1000 EFIS suite, which is pretty much standard equipment in every new airplane sold today. Wouldn't it be great if you could just hop in the airplane and know how to work all this stuff? Well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't exactly work that way. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Now learning the G1000 is not impossibly difficult, but it does take some effort. There are about a half a dozen programs, some computer-based, some online-based, to report to tell you how to do this. So in this brief video, we're going to take a look at some of those products, and then when we're done, we'll take a test flight in this G1000 equipped DA40 to see how we did. All of the G1000 training programs share some similarities, but they vary quite a bit in detail. With the exception of one, all of them are a lecture format, followed by a demonstration and maybe a quiz or two at the end of each segment. Some have an on-screen simulator, so you can actually try the knobs and keys. The simplest and cheapest comes from Garmin, it's the PC simulator at $24.95. Now this runs only on the PC or on the, on the Mac under PC emulation. It duplicates the G1000 functionality exactly right up to the highest level functions including flight plans and approaches and so forth. One disadvantage, you can only look at the PFD or the MFD but never both at once. That's not a big deal, but it's not how it works in the real airplane. Also, there's no structure at all to this program, so you're completely on your own to figure out what you want to learn. If you want a structured program, Garmin has that too in what it calls its TMS e-learning product. This is available online in a basic VFR and an IFR version. Both are priced at $99. Jepson has an identical version of this that's PC-based, and that's what we're looking at here. The formats are identical, there's a syllabus divided according to the phase of operation and the G1000's organization. You can step through this at any pace you like. Each section of this program has a series of lectures and you can do guided exercises on your own or you can do it with prompting and that's what that little box up in the upper left is for so you can select. This program works well, it's complete, it covers a lot of the higher level features. However, the simulator option is just a little bit quirky. It's sometimes difficult to get a mouse pointer or cursor to turn a knob just the way you want. Moving up the food chain in production value, if not cost, is the Sporty's G1000 checkout. For 89 bucks, you can use this online or with a DVD. It's heavily lecture-based with good demos and some scenarios. There's space over there for notes on the left side of the screen. You're probably going to need that because this program is fast-paced it throws a lot of information at you in a very short period. You can also scrub through the videos here and go back and look at something you may have missed. Sporties doesn't have a built-in simulator for this program and it doesn't have quizzes, but it does include the Garmin PC simulator as part of the purchase price. And you're going to want that because this program really gives you a lot of information and you're going to need to experiment with the simulator to lock it in. If there's a mega program in this G1000 game, that would be cleared for flying the G1000 from King Schools. It sells for $249 on DVD for the PC only. It's set up like all of the other King Schools products in that they use a green screen format in front of the actual hardware with a lot of demos and scenarios. Now the Kings are a lot better at this green screen than I am, which is a good thing since this program is extensive and it covers every little detail and then some. The King version is organized differently than the others in that it's very heavily scenario based and it stitches the G1000 operation right into those examples. It also gets into a little bit of risk assessment and judgment which the other programs don't do. It does have some quizzes and exercises at the end of each segment and there's a rudimentary on-screen simulator. But I found that it was somewhat limited. The Garmin PC Sim would be a good addition with this program as it would for some of the other offerings as well. A couple of other programs we tried include ASA's Complete G1000 course. It will run on either a Mac or a PC. And then there's Max Trescott's book and online course combination. These are at both ends of the same spectrum. The ASA is very basic familiarization, while Trescott's material is high-end graduate level work. The ASA program is $49.95 and Trescott's online version is $59. Now that you've seen how some of the D1000 training programs uh, work, we're going to take a flight uh, in a Diamond a DA40 with uh, Bruce Batalon of uh, Europe American Aviation in Florida and uh, we'll see how I do. 
You can find a full review on the G-1000 programs in the August 2011 issue of Aviation. <laughs> and you can also find a flight review of the G-1000 training program elsewhere on AvWeb. Thanks for watching.